Today we are here to introduce AfterSpy again. Uh, this is the second generation. It uh, provides proprietary analytics with machine learning, combining quantitative and qualitative and semantic analysis. Similar to that of a graph database, uh, the inbuilt wizards pro have a number of use cases, uh, one of which we'll, ex we'll talk about is the organizational DNA. There's ranking analytics for selection of objectives, initiatives, market opportunities, etc. cetera. Uh, we also have a two model semantic comparison which can allow you to compare process listings, for example, between two organizations, features between two software applications, affinity analysis to identify cause and effect, correlation analysis, you know, to give you cause and effect again. So in a typical sample organization, which is multi-business division, you have a large analyst team. Uh, in this case, they are mandated to build and leverage the organizational DNA. Uh, typically, the analysts will examine the different elements of the DNA, why you deliver to the market, how you deliver enablers, what you deliver. All of this goes into the AfterSpire catalog. So there's a discovery phase where you capture all the information. Um, the information in the catalog can be enriched with attributes, which can be from the built-in attributes of AfterSpire, or they can add their own attributes. You can create enumerations for the attributes too, and you can color code them so that they look much better. Uh, and why are we calling this DNA? So the analogy is because DNA is made up of base pairs of chromosomes. Uh, within AfterSpire, we have matrix models which have base pairs. So for example, relationships between processes and technology, or risks and technology. And as you can see here on the matrix model, uh, you have a number of these matrices, so a suite of matrices, and these can all become, uh, they all represent the organizational DNA together. These can be created manually, or they can be auto-discovered using the relationship discovery wizard, whereby we can actually import and create a unified catalog from, from different uh, independent uh, categories. And AfterSpire uses the ability, uh, which is uh, basically semantic matching, to match and merge all of this into uh, the organizational DNA. Uh, you can generate and visualize these relationships, and we can actually zoom in to areas of key concern and interest, which I will demonstrate. And of course, the organizational DNA diagrams provide us multiple paths through which we can step through. So you can start from objectives and go to risk, or in our case, we will go to technology to processes. And we can understand misalignments and potential issues. Um, looking at the next step, we, uh, we would do ranking with a machine learning algorithm to identify improvement actions and to select things to improve. Um, Again, like we said, initiatives, market opportunities, vendors. And we can visualize this using uh, what we call a four box functionality. Uh, in this case, one of the key issues is to evaluate a build or buy for an expansion alternative. Um, so for this, we would do typically compare processes from our organization, the target company's organization, see whether there's similarities and uh, what we can, um, you know, what, whether there are some unique processes which make the target company desirable. Uh, so once you run the actual uh, semantic uh, analysis, you will actually see there are 12 processes which can be consolidated and 21 processes in the target company which hopefully are unique and you want to actually bring them into the acquisition. The semantic and sentiment analysis allows to compare uh, feedback, for example, from our hotel versus customer feedback from a competitive hotel. And uh, you can understand the sentiment of the feedback and understand which one is possibly better. Uh, we also have uh, an affinity analysis whereby you can identify, for example, and this is based on machine learning. We'll demonstrate this uh, to answer questions such as which processes based on which location are candidates for improvement. The correlation matrix functionality allow you to understand uh, for example, again, a process example, um, you can see cycle time, wait time, transport time, uh, which is negatively impacting efficiency. So these, again, are candidates for improvement. So like I said, AfterSpire has around 16 analytic wizards as of today. Um, and then we support SWOT, risk management, strategic impact, force field, root cause as examples. Uh, we are building these into suites of wizards. So that's, you know, on the roadmap. Um, key benefits are providing quantitative and qualitative insights. You can leave it semantic strapped and other tools. Um, robust analytics, helping you to draw clear and targeted conclusions. 
and solving business issues. 